loves and welcome to Nightly Unwind. This is going to be the yoga practice that you need to strip away the day and relieve the stress. We're just going to do a lot of stretches in this one. This practice isn't going to break a sweat, so whether you're doing this at the top of your night routine or as the last thing you do before you drift to sleep, it's guaranteed to help you unwind. Let's begin in a cross-legged position. You're going to have your right leg crossed closer inwards to your body. Have your hands planted on your knees, have your shoulders draped, but your core activated and your head elevated. Take a deep inhalation to the count of one, two, three, four, five. Hold at the top for three, two, one. Release, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You can choose to do this practice with your eyes open or eyes closed. Just keep in mind that your exhalation should be longer than your inhalations to help with de-stressing. You're going to take your right hand and plant it on your left knee, taking your left hand to the mid part of your back and just look over your left shoulder. Deep breaths. Deep exhalations. Breathe in again and release. One more time. Inhale and exhale back to center. You're going to do the same, same but different. You're going to do your left hand on your right knee. Right hand is planted in the mid part where your back would be, just on the floor, looking over your right shoulder. We're just starting with some easy twists. We're going to do a lot of twists throughout this practice to help detoxify. Two more deep breaths. Making sure to fill up your belly, your chest, and release. Now, I'm just going to face the front of my mat, but you can remain in the center if that suits you. We're going to change the cross of the legs, and let's do our right hand, left knee, breathe. You should feel the stress being released in your lower back, as well as some light tension relief in your shoulder area, and other side. Now plant your hands behind you, allow your legs to fall flat, staff pose, hands by hips, don't allow your shoulders to reach too much towards your ears, tuck in your pelvis a bit, activate your core, sweep your arms up, inhale and exhale, fold. This fold fold may not be as intense as you may be used to, you may not reach as low as you're used to. The point of this one in this practice is for you to look inwards as you fold inwards. Remember that your chest should be reaching forward more than down. And once you've reached a point where you can feel it along your spine, you're going to curl your chin in. Deep inhales. Fully release with your exhales. You might notice that with exhalations you can get a little deeper if you feel like it's attainable for you in this practice you can reach your hands towards your feet lightly cupping them don't force anything in this practice this is just supposed to be relaxing more than anything one more inhalation exhale rise draw your right leg in planting the sole against the left inner part of your thigh. You're going to again sweep your arms up as you inhale and exhale fold. Some may find the fold is deeper doing these one leg folds. It really depends on your flexibility, your body, what you've done with the day. Each day is different. Each side is different. Inhale up. Now take that foot and plant it to the outer left side of your hip. You're going to raise your right hand up, simultaneously folding your right, not your mat, 
put your foot in towards your right hip. Now that you've done this, much like our first twist, you're going to plant your right hand in the mid part of your mat or equidistance to the mid part of your back and twist. With each exhalation, you can twist a little deeper. Each inhalation, you can lift your upper body towards the sky. One more breath in and counter twist to the other side. Pushing both hands into the ground as you fold inwards. This counter twist should feel like such a good relief. Some might even find that it gives you more of a twist effect than the first one we just did. Now you're going to release. Shake your legs a bit. Draw your left leg into the right thigh. Arms up as you inhale, exhale, inwards, downwards, remembering to elongate before you fold. Be mindful, this is your time. Each pose is only as important, only as impactful, only as powerful as the intention you give it. Your breath will guide you. One more inhale, exhale up. We're gonna do that same twist, stamping your left leg to your right hip, curling in your right to the outer edge of your left. You can plant your hand to the mid back and raise your right arm up, hooking it on your left knee, twisting. Go as deep as your body allows. Don't force anything. Don't seek out pain. One more. And counter twist. Twisting is like wringing out a cloth or rag. You're getting out all of the toxins. That subtle, abrupt stop. <laughs> oxymoron allows your body to activate and then once you untwist it allows a fresh flush of oxygen and fresh energy now you can release plant your hands near your hips release your legs forward and one more fold forward as you can tell in this practice, there's quite a bit of forward folds. As I mentioned, forward folds are a great opportunity for you to look inwards. I know yoga is about leaving your mess on the mat, stretching out your stress. Sometimes it's a good way to remind you when you're done this practice to reflect on your blessings, on the things maybe you wish you did better, staying present. One more inhalation and exhale up. Now this one is one of my favorite stretches. You're gonna start by either doing a cross leg or if you're comfortable, you're gonna put your right leg like a fire log on top or even bringing in that right foot in towards your left hip. Once you've done that, you're going to take your left arm up kind of like you're patting your shoulders, your back, and you're gonna bring your fingers to meet. You can also use a strap or a towel if you need. You're going to push your head back into your arm. This is gonna create a deeper stretch. And inhale, exhale if it's available to you. Go Mukasana. Remember, if you feel slight tension but not pain, the best way to alleviate it is to send intention through breath to that spot. So breathing even more deeply. Plant your hands right by your hips and switch. The reason why I love this pose is that it works on so many levels. Right arm up, left arm to the back. 
as you can see, fingertips are touching or maybe even giving each other a little handshake. Head pushes on the right arm. This gives your right triceps a stretch as well as pulling actively to give your left a little stretch too. Inhale, exhale, fold. If you're folding in on yourself, make sure that you're also grounding your sit bones back and down. As you fold over your body, you may feel a deeper stretch in your neck, your shoulders, and your left outer hip. When we did the opposing side, you should have felt it in your right. One more inhalation, and exhale up. Hands by your hips, and release. Shake if you need. Now we're just gonna point and flank our toes before we do some twists on our back. If you think you need, you can always do a little bit of circles, opposing sides, figure eights. We're just trying to encourage more fluidity in the ankles, which often get neglected. And now when you're ready, you're gonna slowly decline onto your back. Okay, let me just scoop up a little bit. <laughs> okay, so you're on your backs, you're gonna draw your right leg in. You're gonna squeeze it to your mid body and also a little to the right, almost as if you're trying to tuck it in between your torso and your armpit. You're gonna hold, applying a pressure with both of your hands. And when you're ready, you're gonna take your left hand and draw it to the left. You're gonna reach your right arm out, either straight, or you can do cactus, robot arms. Looking to the right, your priority here is to keep your right shoulder to the ground more than pushing your left knee to the ground. You'll get more of a stretch in your front shoulder area while still giving a stretch in your outer right hip. Inhale, exhale, switch, drawing in your left leg between your torso and your armpit. If you feel you need, you can do a couple circles, figure eights, rotations. Sometimes it helps to loosen up the synovial fluid. Same as the last side, you're gonna take your right hand to help your left knee trace along to the right side. And whichever arm position you have on the last side, whether robot or straight, you're gonna extend that left arm and look towards the left. Deep inhalations, deeper exhalations. If you're working on a computer all day, this is really good to relieve the stress from crouching over, sitting all day. When you're ready, you can release legs to at least mat width, if not longer and wider, as your arms fall away from your body. Palms up to receive. Allow your body to sink and melt into the mat while your breath returns to its normal tempo. When you're ready, Roll over to whichever side presents as more open for today. Feet of position. Push up with your opposing arm. Seated. And that's it. I hope you feel grounded and ready to unwind. Hope you have a good slumber. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed, love and light. Hey, I'm glad I did that in one take. I thought I would need more in the sun. It's just setting right now, so the timing is perfect. I hope you guys enjoy this one because you don't even want to know. The first time I did this, I cut my head off. Hopefully I didn't. I can't see the viewfinder. The second time I did it, my camera shut off. The third time, the lighting, I looked like Tales from the Crypt Keeper. So I just hope that this is what it's supposed to be. <laughs> and 
look, my fridge turned on. Perfect timing, I guess. I hope you guys enjoy this one. See you next time.